Our house uh, is on Niue Island in, uh, in the southwest Pacific. Um, we've lived in it for many years and we built the house ourselves. I believe from indications that the population is about 1,300 or 1,400. If you want to live in the tropics, you've got to be prepared for hurricanes. Tropical island disturbances walked west of Cook Island, moving north northwest. Every year we have warning. Sometimes we take heed of it. Sometimes we think, well, it's going to miss. The New England government have had uh, a bit of difficulties with uh, preservation of uh, records. Uh, like any developing countries, they are uh, limited uh, resources. The records of Niue are very important to us. The record has been, needs to be upgraded. It, it's fading, it's rotting, uh, and it's gonna go away unless uh, something be done. Present location is 120 degrees west, 50 degrees south. This is an extremely dangerous Category 5 cyclone with sustained winds of 285 kilometers. And all of a sudden, you can start uh, hear the wind blowing a bit more and faster and quicker. I had battened down the house, uh, nailed up all the windows and the doors, and uh, put everything away. It started ripping the roofs off, but this was the, the, the worst hurricane cyclone that we, we ever had. This was actually big waves crashing onto the building. As we were sitting in the living room, a huge wave hit the house. We never heard it coming, and we never saw it. And the whole room filled up with seawater. In 2004, a maximum force Category 5 cyclone struck the island nation of Niue, 1,500 miles northeast of New Zealand. It was miraculous that only two people lost their lives as the devastation leveled a long coastal area. Although it was perched 90 feet above sea level, the home of Henny and Ernie Welsh was swept away as Herculean waves rose up the cliffs, crushed and devoured plant life, and carried man-made structures out to sea. The rest of the island weather had wind gusts up to 200 miles per hour. Years later, the scars are largely still visible. Government Minister Tiongya Sionoholo summed up the damage to his area. The cyclone damage was basically salt water damage caused by storm surge. It caused the waves to come right up to where the buildings were. And for the museum, it was total loss. In the museum, I believe the, the collection there was physical items from uh, a collection around the island. Uh, in the Justice Department, our records are basically to do with land, and uh, registers of births, deaths, and marriages, and uh, uh, records from the uh, courts. Years earlier, Family Search volunteers from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints had meticulously microfilmed many of Nui's vital records. Stored in the granite mountain vault in the mountain range above Salt Lake City, Utah, New copies of the destroyed records were presented to the government of Niue. These valuable documents include 30,000 images of birth, death, and marriage records, and an index of Europeans who immigrated to Niue. The documents also included genealogies of Niue women, which are used for determining property rights, as well as some other genealogies that could be used to establish ownership by inheritance. It is of uh, significance uh, uh, factor for us that we can always fall back on what has been the microfilm beforehand. Uh, and at that, that stage, I was quite happy to say, oh, even if we lose some of these things, we still have records uh, we can fall back onto. So we're very happy with that. The fury of nature took a heavy toll on the trees, buildings, and people on New Way. But even when a natural disaster destroys the physical originals, the vital records that preserve the memories and events of a people need not be lost forever. Restoring the records of the past 
is one part of helping the residents of this island rebuild and look forward to the future.